welcome back thrill seekers and adrenaline junkies to another heart pounding episode of our channel today. We're diving head first into the world of extreme stunts and jaw dropping feats that defy all logic and reason. From death defying leaps to mind boggling maneuvers, we're about to take you on a roller coaster ride through the top 10 unthinkable stunts that were captured on film for real. So, buckle up, hold on tight, and prepare to be amazing number 10. Hood Ridding Car, Battle Death Proof 2007. Death Proof Quentin Tarantino's exploitation film was inspired by his love of the grindhouse B-movie culture of the 1970s and 1980s. While the director is known for going old school filming on film and virtually entirely using practical effects in his films, this one takes it to the next level. Fortunately for everyone concerned, Tarantino chose a real-life stuntwoman, Zoe Bell, to do the most intense maneuvers captured on camera in the second half of the film. Bell, playing a fictionalized version of herself, participates in a do-not-try-at-home game called Shipman's Mast, number 9, 222 Step F, John Wick, chapter 4, 2023. The John Wick films created by ex-stuntmen have been on a quest to keep their action sequences as conventional as possible, shooting in long uninterrupted takes and choreographing the fights down to the last punch. The scenario shows Wick Reeves arrive at the foot of the stairway and having to battle an army of henchmen to reach the top in time for his confrontation with the main villain. Needless to say, he is knocked, kicked and tripped down the steps numerous times but in one terrible episode. Just as he is about to reach the summit, he falls all the way back to the bottom. Vincent Buon Reeves' stunt double bit the bullet and took the fall for real. Number 8, Anti-G Gravity Hallway, Fight Inception, 2010. Christopher Nolan, always striving to outdo himself in each new film, reached a peak in his career. With Inception, one scene that stands out is the anti-gravity hallway fight in this scene. Arthur, played by Joseph Gordon, Levitt is stuck between dream levels in a hotel where gravity is constantly shifting due to the dream world's instability. Despite the complexity, Nolan chose to film the scene practically rather than relying heavily on CGI, inspired by Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Nolan's team built two massive sets one that could rotate 360 decks horizontally and another that simulated zero gravity vertically. Gordon Levitt spent three weeks suspended in these sets, creating the illusion of a twisting spinning environment. Number seven, bungee down a damn golden eye. 1995, when Martin Campbell teamed up with Pierce Brown for Golden Eye, it marked the beginning of a remarkable era for James Bond movies in the 90s, Campbell. Eager to make a splash, launched the film with a breathtaking 10-minute sequence that starts with one of the most daring stunts in the franchise, a heart-stopping bungee jump down a dam. This scene was crucial in introducing the revamped Adorno 7 and setting the tone for the movie. It had to feel grand and authentic. Stuntman Mikhails took on Bron's role, making a jaw-dropping leap over 720FT from Switzerland's Verasa, dam-breaking records for the highest fall ever attempted. Number 6 Mai on the Orient Express, Mission Impossible Dead. Reckoning Part 1 in recent years, the Mission Impossible series has become synonymous with jaw-dropping action and mind-bending stunts. Large due to the fearless dedication of its star, Tom Cruise among the plethora of unthinkable stunts scattered throughout the seven films. One stands out the train top, fight from the latest installment, Dead Reckoning director Christopher McQuarrie and his team didn't rely on CG. Wizardry instead they built a custom train that could operate on real tracks in Norway. This specially designed locomotive region speeds off up to 60 mph 96 5 kyot. During filming with Cruz and Morales engaging in intense combat while precariously perched on the roof and sides. Number 5. Plane Hijack The Dark Knight Rises Who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. Kicking off our list is none other than visionary director Christopher Nolan. Known for his unwavering commitment to capturing action stunts in camera with each of his blockbusters, Nolan consistently pushes the boundaries of filmmaking. The iconic scene where Bane executes a daring aerial escape was filmed in Scotland in 2011. This six-minute sequence involved two planes and a meticulous three-day shoot. The smaller plane housing, Bane was actually a massive turbo prop towed behind a larger C-130 Hercules to achieve the gripping visuals. Four stuntmen suspended on wires dropped from the Hercules onto the CIA plane, creating the illusion of the turbo prop being dismantled. Midair, 
The remaining fuselage was then dropped to the ground, delivering a vertigo-inducing shot that added to the realism. For the interior action scenes, a separate set was constructed to ensure the safety of the actors during intense shootouts. Number 4. Burj Khalifa Climb Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol in 2011, the Mission Impossible franchise reached new heights with its fourth installment, Ghost Protocol, thanks to an unforgettable in-camera stunt. Tom Cruise's character faces the daunting task of scaling several stories of the world's tallest building to access a vital server room. Cruise's stunt double was only utilized to check safety harnesses as Cruise opted to scale the building himself. Despite using safety equipment, the tightness of the gear caused Cruise's legs to gradually go numb during the ascent, with the climb performed for real and impling remarkably versatile camera work. The team crafted a moment of intense anxiety and awe. Undoubtedly, this sequence stands out as one of the most memorable in the entire Mission Impossible series. Both crews and the filmmakers delivered a nail-bitingly tense moment, amplified by the knowledge that the actor truly braved the heights of the building. Number 3. Window Jump The Bourne Ultimatum director Paul Greengrass is renowned for his mastery of rapid editing and arguably his pinnacle achievement. In this style is seen in 2007, the Bourne ultimatum in a pivotal scene. Jason Bourne and his Ali Nikki Parsons find themselves in Tangier, navigating a perilous chase to evade deadly assassins. The climax of the sequence features a breathtaking alleyway. Jump into a glass window here. The cameraman courageously jumps alongside the stuntmen, providing audiences with the sensation of being thrust directly into the heart of a visceral fight scene. Number two, two final, chase, death, proof. Inspired by real life stunts the film follows, lead antagonist Mike McKay, played by Kurt Russell as he ruthlessly dispatches victims with his rigged stunt vehicle. The climactic chase scene is an adrenaline fueled showdown, pitting three fearless protagonists against McKay and a high octane vehicular duel with Bell hanging off the hood of a speeding car as vehicles collide number one shopping mall, jump police story when it comes to performing stunts. Jackie Chan has always defied conventional wisdom throughout his illustrious career. Spanning decades, he has fearlessly thrown himself into countless perilous situations, enduring bruises and injuries along the way. Among the plethora of remarkable moments in his theography, one stands out for its sheer danger. The original police story from 1985 in this action-packed film Sergeant Chan Kui takes on mobsters in Hong Kong in a relentless battle, the climax of police story showcases. Jackie's most daring and life-threatening stunt, yet a harrowing slide down a pole, surrounded by electrical wires crashing through a glass ceiling and landing on the ground below. It's a heart-stopping moment, and the intensity is palpable in Jackie's wild-eyed expression as he hurdles towards the ground. And there you have it. Folks, 10 mind-blowing stunts that prove that sometimes reality is even more incredible. Than fiction, we hope you enjoyed this wild ride with us.